Thank you very much. Um, I'm delighted to be here tonight to announce the winner of this award. I've had the pleasure of working with one of these actresses, but I'm glad I don't have to choose the winner out of such an outstandingly talented group. Let's take a look at the nominees. Jessica Chastain for help. No way, no way. I'm sorry. It's the first time I've hired a maid. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Judy Dench, my week with Marilyn. I believe she's going to send you something. A great actress like you has many other things on her mind. You think I'm a great actress? None of the rest of us truly know how to act for the camera. But you do. It's a rare gift. Kerry Mulligan, Drive. What is your name? That's been to his father. Where is he? He's in prison. Octavia Spencer, the help. I need to see this way on the mountain. I got to come up with questions too. Melissa McCarthy, bridesmaids. <laughs> And the BAFTA is awarded to Octavia Spencer. For the well, this is a surprise. Um, thank you to the Baptist. Um, this is a dream. And I have to say, uh, Tate Taylor and Brunson Green, Michael Barnathan, everybody at Disney, everybody at DreamWorks, my co-stars, I share this with Jessica Chastain, Emma Stone, Viola Davis, Bryce Dallas Howard, all of my scene partners. Wow. Um, it's been said that The Help is an American movie about American problems and American history. And I am so grateful to you for seeing past that because surely oppression and strife knows no gender, no age, no sexual orientation, and in our case, country. So I appreciate this <laughs> so much. Thank you. Well, now, um, round three of my uh, film Athlon saw me um, skipping along to see the chillingly sublime Tinker Tailor's Soldier Spy, which has already won an award for that British film. The twists and turns in this narrative roller coaster kept me on the edge of my seat, though others did find the plot a little hard to follow. Again, I received a tweet while watching it. I'm slightly confused. Could you please explain what it's all about? And that was from an at Gary Oldman. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Tim Taylor, Soldier Spy. There's a mole right at the top of the circus. He's been there for years. You're not talking about, um, the kind of fantasy spies. I'm not talking about Bond. I mean, it's a completely different thing, different genre altogether. There are no gadgets, no gizmos. No Aston Martins. You've got clearance for that. Well, I'm not bloody chaining it up outside. I know. Like it is one of five men. All I want from you is one code name. Smiley has to figure out these people based on how he understands them. It 
brings out the human element in all this. What did you make of it, Jim? Control theory. I think he's a fascinating character because of his discretion, sobriety, self-control. You don't see sort of celebrated in other action spies. <laughs> He lets everything come to him. The room temperature changes to him. He, he completely and utterly beguiles people into thinking he's harmless. I'll do my utmost, trick. In life, you wouldn't notice him. But under the microscope of the drum, you scrutinize him. And you find that this man is seriously intelligent, wise, and cool. I know who he is. Peter Taylor, Soldier Spy, ladies and gentlemen, making a mountain of a film out of a mole. Hopeful of smiley faces all round come the end of the night, but there's simply no way of telling. Unlike uh, the British Secret Service, security at BAFTA is unbreachable. We now stand at the brink of the award for original screenplay, and to present it to dynamite actors, who, would you believe, are complete polar opposites when it comes to gender. He has galloped into the limelight with the sublime leading role in War Horse, Whilst aged 11, she dived into it in Mermaids and has remained at the front of the pack ever since. Jeremy Irvine and Christina Ricci. It begins with a blank page. In time, those words become the dialogue you hear, the settings you see, and the emotions you feel when they are brought to life on screen. Hundreds of drafts and years of rewrites can go into perfecting every line and stage direction that we as actors can destroy in a moment just by thinking that we know best. Here are the nominees for Best Original Screenplay. The Iron Lady, Abby Morgan. She's on the prowl. Eat your egg. Goodness, there you are. <laughs> yes, here we are. Midnight in Paris, Woody Allen. It's fine for your father and I to disagree. That's what a democracy is. Your father defends the right wing of the Republican Party, and I happen to think you've almost got to be like a demented lunatic. Okay. But it's like, okay. you know, but, but it, we, it doesn't mean we don't respect each other's views. Am I right? The Guard, John Michael McDonough. Oh, excuse me. Street value. You lads are always announcing a Caesar of drugs worth a street value of $10 million or $20 million or half a billion dollars. I do always wonder what street it is you're buying your cocaine on because it's not the same street as I'm buying my cocaine on. <laughs> That's enough now, boy. The Artist, Michelle as an Avisius. Mimolo, Kristen Wiig. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's your husband? No, no, I, no, no, no. I don't know him. I'm sorry. Do you want to go for a walk later? Oh, I can't. I can't. And the back side goes to Michelle Azanavicius. Thank you. Uh, thank you, the, 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 the BAFTA. <clears throat> Actually, I'm very surprised because so many people thought there was no script because there was no dialogue. <laughs> and uh, so English people are very clever. <laughs> Congratulations to you. And I want to thank all the people who work on that movie, all the cast, all the crew, the producer, everyone. I mean, 
everybody make that movie for a good reason. And uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Well, we, we come now to the Outstanding British Contribution to Cinema Award, which is named in honor of Sir Michael Balkan, and to make the presentation, an immensely talented Oscar-winning writer, actor, director, and musician who attacks everything he does with an unstoppable drive and unquenchable creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm insanely excited to welcome to the stage the almost mythical Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. An inarticulate guy who can see about four feet in front of him <laughs> with an IQ of just under 50 to present an award. <laughs> <laughs> 